What's up YouTube? It's your girl Bambi and I'm back with another video. I know it's been a minute, but um, you know what I realized? It is 2023. And do you know what that means for me? It means that I have reached a milestone in my hair journey, which is I've been natural for 10 years now at this point. And so I've been thinking about a lot of things and what I wanted to do to give back, yes, I say give back because there are a lot of people who have considered, you know, thought about maybe I wanna go natural, maybe I'm tired of going to the hair salon every week, every two weeks, maybe I'm tired of these sew-ins, maybe I'm tired of perms, you know, it goes on and on and on and on and on, right? Um, and so I thought one of the things that I could do that might be helpful to others is to kind of share some tips five exact that'll be in this video uh that you should consider after you make the decision so once you say yep i'm going natural well here's some of the things that you should consider why do you go natural and i have some notes because i want to make sure that um I'm, I'm getting to my point so ignore me if i'm looking down from time to time so here we go with the first one so being natural isn't always what you see what do i mean by that what I'm saying is a lot of the times what's advertised to us, what's popular in media, commercials, etc., is the type of natural hair that has this uniform type curl to it. Um, it's it's considered beautiful or at one point in time it's, you know, oh you got good hair. I'm sure you've heard that at some point in time. And so what I mean by, you know, going natural or being natural doesn't necessarily mean it is what you see is that you're gonna have a totally different experience from every other person who is natural because you have your own unique texture of hair, your own unique curl pattern, and you may not look like or get the results that you see out there plastered on billboards and commercials, etc. because that's what's popular now. But don't be fooled because you may not get that, but it doesn't mean that your hair is any less beautiful, any less considered good as any other person who's able to achieve those nice little uniform curls, coils, or waves. So don't be fooled on that. All right, number two. It takes time, patience, and a dedication to discover what works for your hair. And I want to make sure I emphasize what works for your hair. Because during your journey, just because there's a certain product that you hear people rave about, it gets such good reviews, that doesn't mean that that particular product is going to work for you. So when you've made a decision to go natural and you do some research and you say, okay, I got my techniques down, let me try some products, that product that may be high priced, that may have the good reviews and the raves and you know you see these results, you may not be able to achieve that. But don't be fooled. Don't think just because, you know, you see somebody else who's using that product and getting good results that the same is going to happen for you. No, it's going to take time for you to explore the different products that agree with your hair, the products that your hair actually likes, and the techniques that work for you to achieve the look that you're going for. Okay, so if you're getting into this, this ride, buckle up, take your time, <laughs> stop speeding to get to the end, the, the finish line, because it's a journey that you know happens over a lifetime and even for me at 10 years in i'm still exploring and discovering new things about my hair and the things that i like so keep that in mind be patient it requires dedication and find out what works for your hair not comparing yourself to anybody else number three so everything isn't for everybody so what do i mean by that you're gonna see all different types of styles when it comes to natural hair. You're gonna see some people who can rip a bonnet off of their hair, shake it and go, and look perfectly fine, look effortless as if they really attempted to do something major to their hair that morning, versus people who, okay, I need to put some work in and you know create a wash and go and, and really take two hours right to achieve the look that they're going for for a wash and go because don't let the, the name fool you you're not gonna just you're just not going to for the most part wash your hair and leave out the door and be ready to go it's work to a wash and go so um it could be like puffs everybody is not good with wearing a puff everybody doesn't like the results that they get butterfly locks uh twist flat twist Bantu knots, corn rolls, like everything that you see, you may feel like, you know what, I can't pull that off. It doesn't fit the, fit the frame of my face. 
it doesn't look good to me when I'm, you know, untwisting my flat twist to get that curly look that I've seen on TV or I'm watching in these videos. Again, you have to just realize that everything that's out there may not necessarily be for you. So find, take your time to find what fits, what you're comfortable with, and what works for you. Because you're gonna be disappointed if you think you're gonna get the same results as everyone else rocking those same styles that may not be ideal for your, your frame of your face. We're not even talking about the, the type of textured hair that you have. But just certain looks, certain haircuts look decent or look better on certain shaped faces, etc. So consider that when you're thinking about styling your own natural hair. Number four, keep in mind that failed attempts are the way to go. So most people, when you try something, it kind of sets you back and makes you feel self-conscious about yourself when you attempt something and you consider it a failure. You didn't get the results you were looking for. Maybe you're not getting the, um, attention from a particular hairstyle that you thought oh you know this looked great on this particular person and people are raving about it they're giving all of these compliments or you've seen something you follow the steps from one to ten and your results didn't come out exactly like that person in that youtube video it was a little different right it wasn't to your liking that's okay you're going to fail on this journey um, everything is not going to come out perfect and what i found in my own experience is that there's been times that i've attempted to do a certain hairstyle or use a certain product and it didn't come out exactly how i wanted it to but i found some other ways to make it work for me and so failure is a discovery to becoming the you that you want to be on this hair journey so keep that in mind the more times you fail it's get bringing you closer to your end goal of what you want to achieve so failures are okay with me and here is my fifth and final tip after you decide that you want to go natural is attention is going to be on 10. so what do i mean by that i'm saying that everyone is going to notice you it's going to bring positive as well as probably some negative um, criticism whether it comes to your face whether you see people snicker or you get the stares and you're not sure if someone is feeling some kind of way about what you're looking like or how your hair is styled sometimes people are just curious but realize that you have to start to build a confidence about yourself when you decide I'm going to go natural because you're presenting your world yourself in the world in a completely different way than what let's say is I'm not gonna say acceptable because natural hair is acceptable nowadays but there's still some people who know nothing about it and I'm not just talking about you know individuals who are not black african-american etc don't have textured hair I'm talking about even within our own community some people don't understand it so just recognize that when you decide or make the decision that you're gonna be natural, that you are going to get a lot of attention. People are gonna ask you questions, they're gonna compliment you, you are going to stand out in the room, in the boardroom, at the parties, when you walk down the street, as you're getting in your car, wherever it is, people notice you when you're natural. So build up your confidence, get used to the stares, the look, people coming up to you, asking you questions, giving you the compliments because it's going to happen. You have to be comfortable with it and just have confidence and not care with whatever people think about your hair. All right, folks, so those are my top five things that you should consider when you make the decision to become natural. I'm going to get out of here, but I'll be back with some more videos about natural hair and sharing my journey with you. So until next time.